Okay, we got Guardians left-hander Joey Cantillo joining us for a few right before the uh, All-Star Futures game in Seattle. Uh, first and foremost, man, thank you very much for taking the time. What was uh, what was the journey like out to Seattle? Did you go Columbus to? Uh, we we were in Nashville actually, so we were in Nashville, Tennessee. Um, yeah, and it was cool, cool city. Didn't pitch there obviously, but got to hang out with the team for a few days, and then had a long day of travel yesterday. Uh, my sister actually lives in Seattle, so. Uh, my dad and my sister, we went out to uh, dinner and just saw the city a little bit, so it was nice. Gotcha. How awesome is this experience for you? You know, like how much does it mean to you being tabbed to throw in the Futures game? It, I mean, it means a lot. It's it's definitely cool. It's a, There's a lot going on. Um, when I got in yesterday, we did all the check-ins and everything, and we're standing in this lobby absolutely packed. <laughs> um, so I'm sure it'll be a fun, interesting event. Um, I think the experience itself, like today, you know, I have no idea what we're going to see. Um, but like you said, anytime we're in a major league stadium and you get to pitch in a major league stadium, I think it's an opportunity that you know I'm going to definitely enjoy, and, and I'm going to be I'm going to be pumped for sure. When did you find out that you might be pitching in this game? Because obviously you earned it, but you're also in an organization yeah. where there are so many good arms. But it's a testament to what you're doing. What was that process like, and and, and how exciting was it to, to hear that you'd be you know involved in this game? Yeah, I think uh, honestly, you know, I've watched the games in the past, and it's it's a pretty cool opportunity. Like I was never like a first rounder or anything like that, and you know, I think I've I've worked my way up in this system. Um, yeah, I mean, when they, they, they actually told me like a week or two before the news came out and they, say, they said, hey, don't say anything. Um, but I was pumped about it. I think a lot of my mindset's just been on, you know, getting up to the big leagues this year and, make it, and, and, and doing that and doing what I've been trying to do for the last few years. Um, but when they told me, you know, it settled in, it was like, man, this is going to be a cool opportunity. And, you know, I think I said it to someone yesterday. The minor league season's a grind, and just the baseball season's a grind in general. So just to have this little, you know, before this All Star break, just to have this little, this, but 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 this cool opportunity, and I, I think it's going to be a lot of fun, and you know, I, it's it's going to be cool. It's almost like a reward of sorts, yeah. right? It's like, hey, yeah. you've thrown well so yeah. far. Time to you know just take a moment and, and enjoy it, man. So, what's worked so far for you? Obviously, you've made the climb from double to triple so far. We were just talking before you got here, like it's you know you've been somewhat unavailable unfortunately because of yeah, injuries yeah. over the last couple of years what's it like being fully healthy and and all systems go here yeah i think that's the biggest thing this year is staying healthy like that's something i've very very much has been a a, thought, a a focus for me is like i'm doing everything in my power to to stay on the field and recover and do those kind of things and you know at the end of the day sometimes injuries are out of your control um, but i'm someone who i want to i want to work my butt off and, and do everything i can to make sure that i didn't have any regrets or anything didn't leave any uh, stone unturned or whatever the saying is. Um, so taking care of the uh, the body and, and those kind of things. And then as far as like this this season, I think I've thrown the ball okay to be honest. I don't think I've I don't think I've thrown the ball to my best of my ability. I think especially coming up to AAA, I've walked more guys than I've wanted to, and that's been a thing where it really is me versus me out there on the mound sometimes. And I think it's good to see the results be you know steady at what they at because you know my stuff is good. I got really good stuff. I'm confident in my abilities. Um, but I think just taking that next step to being the type of pitcher I want to be in the big leagues, you know, getting ahead of guys, really attacking the strike zone. You know, when you're limiting base runners, you're going to put yourself in a better position, especially with good stuff. Um, and when you're facing the best hitters in the world, you know, you don't want to make it easier on them. Um, so I think, uh, you know, honestly, I think I've thrown the ball solidly, but there's there's a lot of levels to this game. And I think, you know, I can I can definitely, you know, throw the ball in the zone more and, and get ahead of guys. And I think that's going to lead to better and better results. You talk about that stuff, and you've had a few starts this year where you can really see it. The, the change-up is yeah. that calling card, I feel like, because when that's on, there, there's really nothing anybody yeah. can do about it. What have, you, have you felt like there's been a, maybe like an uptick in the stuff this year, or is it really just about the availability and, and just being out there more frequently? Because the numbers have always been fantastic, yeah. but it just seems like some of the spurts this year, it's just been pure domination when you're around the zone. Yeah, I think um – I think, you know, last year I was kind of the first year in my career where I was starting to throw a little harder, you know, touch a 95, touch a 96. Um, and then this year, you know, I've, I think I've been up to 98, which is good. You know, my average fastball is up a, a, a tick or two. You know, that's going to help at the end of the day. Um, I think, my, you know, I got a good riding fastball and all those kind of things. And, you know, like, I, like you said, with the changeup, I think the changeup has been one of my better pitches for a long time. Um, so, you know, it's just throwing all those pitches confidently with conviction. You know, I really think I got, you know, I, got, I know I got great stuff. Um, so, yeah, I mean, when you're throwing hard and it gives you all the confidence in the world to say, hey, like, go ahead and hit it, you know, and then, you know, hitting's hard, right? So the, the best do it three out of ten times. Um, so, yeah, I mean, fastball change up. The slider, the slider's kind of been a work in progress a little bit this year. 
Um, I was throwing like more of a cutter last year that was a little harder, and we've gotten a little more cut back on the on the slider, which is what I wanted to do. Um, and then the curveball is a big pitch for me because just the ability to land it in the strike zone, it's kind of a bigger pitch, 75 to 78. Um, and I think when I'm at my best, you're going to see a lot of those curveballs just landing in the middle of the zone. I want to get back to the breaking balls in a moment here, but you mentioned the uptick in, in fastball velocity, and obviously that comes from work. That comes from hard work and strength, but what does that work look like? Is it lower half? Is it core? What are you, what are you focused it's on? It's definitely work, so I'm glad you said that. Yeah. Um, I think I, I wasn't someone that, you know, just was throwing 95, 96 in high school, and I haven't, you know, you know, God's, God's blessed everybody with different abilities, and, you know, I think it's it's one of those things that I have had to work for, and you know, using my frame and build, like everyone says. Uh, I think getting into this organization, into Cleveland, they've taught me a little more body awareness and just how to use my body, um, and just the mechanics that go into an elite thrower or an elite efficient throwing uh, mechanics. Um, so I think just like you said, a lot of work in the weight room, but then a lot of work on the baseball mound, just doing some uh, mechanical work, some some like belt work where you're getting pulled down the mound in different different ways just kind of teaching your body how to move and, and patterning out that motion um so it's 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 been fun just and, I, and i'm a learner i think you know someone that was never really throwing hard it's like hey joey like the more velo you're going to get the, the better spots you're going to put yourself in as far as a start and over the course of your career as we know you know the harder you throw the better it is you mentioned being a learner. Well, you're you're in the perfect organization yeah. to do that. I, how how helpful has it been being a guy that has the work ethic, you know, has the ability to kind of soak in information, to be in an organization that is, I think, everybody in baseball knows how good the Guardians are at developing pitching. How helpful has it been for you being in an organization that can give you so much knowledge? Yeah, it, it's been huge. Like I think I've always been that type of player, and like I think that's just who I am as a person. Like why not be that type of player? Like I want to be the best player I can be. Um, and like I said, there's levels to this game, and I, you know, I want to be, I want to be the best I can be. Um, and yeah, I think the time when I, when I got traded, you know, people were saying, "Hey, Cleveland's the best, you know, pitching player development." And I was like, "Okay, we'll see about that." Um, and you know, over the course of the years, just you know, building relationships with their pitching coordinators and those pitching coaches, and just the people in the organization that had you know high praises, and you kind of got to see how they work and and the verbiage in which they use. Um, because I think with a lot of organizations, you have you have data and analytics everything's going on right now and i and i can't speak for you know the other 28 teams because i've only played for two um but they you know here they've done a good job with just applying that knowledge and and someone like me like you said i you know i was i'm just gonna i'm gonna listen and ask a lot of questions um because you know the data is out there for all of us you know especially with the internet and with the people around so the more information you can you can you can take in and, and process I guess in that sort of sense is only going to benefit you. So good invention, the internet. A um, yeah. couple of couple of quick things for you here. Um, breaking balls, real quick. How much do you focus on like pitch design? I guess in season was that an off season thing, turning your cutter into a slider? And then I do have to ask you. We don't have a baseball, but I want to see the change up grip. Yeah, I think uh, you know it's definitely not something you want to be doing in season is something you want to have taken care of by, by the end of spring training so you can focus on just execution in, in the season. I think my cutter last year last year was it was good. It was profiling like a slider and it got a little a little more cuttery and a little more verdy in spring training. So we, we kind of said, hey, okay, let's make sure we're getting the death back. And I think uh, Brad Goldberg is my, was the was my double A pitching coach this season. Um, and he helped me a lot with the slider, just getting getting the feel back of getting on the side of the ball a little bit more, and that's that's helped to be in a good spot. And I like where it's at. I think I'm going to keep adding velocity to that pitch, um, so it can profile really like a plus plus slider. Um, and then the changeup, you know, my high school coach taught me this Vulcan split changeup, where I kind of literally a Vulcan, and I just pronate oh. it like like a circle change. And I I, I I tell people I threw it I threw one warm up changeup every inning of my high school career, and it went straight into the dirt. <laughs> And I didn't, I didn't throw it any time else. Um, and then once I got into pro ball, where we kind of had to throw it every day in throwing programs, um, it, it, the feel for it came. And then, you know, it's, it's one of those things, the more confident you're in it, the more confidence you have in it, and the harder you throw it, that kind of, that, that snap, like, snap's not the right word, but when you're throwing it with conviction, the, the split action, just like a splitter, I guess, is gonna, is gonna create that, that, that depth and that tumble, I guess. Um, so yeah, I'm, you know, I'm grateful for my high school coach for teaching it to me, and it's definitely something, the feel for it has, has come a long way. So you talked about kind of being in the zone, and this will be one of the last ones for me, being in the zone a bit more, and I think one of those ways is 
the feel for the changeup. But what are some other focuses for you to, to have that feel and, and be around the zone a little bit more? Is it a mechanical thing? Is it you know a, a little bit of, of where you're releasing it? And, and what's the focus to kind of be around the zone a bit more? I think it's a combination of things, to be honest. I think you know everything starts up here with your mind and, and what, what you're thinking about and, and what your thought processes are on the pitch as far as where you're trying to start it. Um, so I think focal points are big with, with everything. You know, different pitchers will say different things, but I think focal points are big, especially with the changeup. And I think when I'm at my best, I'm trying to make everything just look like a fastball to a certain spot. So you know, the changeups, if it looks like a fastball here, it's going to go that way. Um, same thing with the curveball and the sliders, starting at different spots to get to a location. Um, and then different feels, like, I mean, you know, changeup, you want to feel it out in front, and then the slider, you know, for me, is you throw it like a fastball curveballs a karate chop so different feels that I think different guys have um, but you need to know what's best for you um, you need to know what what works best what you feel the most I guess when things are going right so I think that's something I've always you know I'm always constantly trying to you know hammer in and learn and and uh and reinforce, I guess. Joey Cantillo, you have a pretty busy lobby tonight. Yeah. Throw on your way to the bus, yeah. but uh, best of luck today, man, Thank and uh, thanks for stopping by. Appreciate it. Thank you.